are Maris and Jonas from Polaroid. Today we are in our studio in Hannover. We're gonna make a song from scratch in just 30 minutes. We would have uh, to describe our process in making music using a kick drum, doing some chord progressions, adding a lot of atmosphere and emotions. It could be everything. So it can be like a chill track or mm. like an uplifting yeah. track. For this jam, we are using our new sample pack and all this beautiful gear around us. All samples are from our previous recordings or totally new and all samples are festival and club tested. We've never done this before, <laughs> no. so let's start. Yes. We usually start our sessions with a kick and build a little drum groove around it. Therefore, our samples from the pack are a great start. In this case, it's the kick from our track Kala and it's one of my favorite tracks from us. Usually we like working in the simpler, so we just drag the drum samples um, there and we have all the control of the sound and the envelope. In this case it was a good idea to shorten the heads to leave more space. Because our sound is very organic but also has a lot of energy, we tried to combine this diversity also in our sample pack so it fits perfectly in nearly every creative process. While I'm still working on the drum groove, Jonas is straight going to the piano and is looking for some nice piano chords for the track. It's always important to choose the right samples, so Sometimes we take a bit of time to just find the right sample and place it perfectly in our mix. All our samples are recorded in our studio and are ready to use. The hired loop takes so much space, so we decided to shorten the envelope. We are doing this process in nearly every loop we are using. We're also adding a drum bus to the loop and a bit of compression. The drum bus is our favorite plugin to fatten up the sound. When the groove is ready, we directly start jamming around with our synthesizers and our piano. Uh, we connected all our outboard gear in our patch bay, so it's super easy to start jamming around and making music. Sometimes it can take hours to find the perfect chords or create the perfect bus sound. In this case, it was super exciting to just go with the first idea. Our go-to synthesizer for bass sounds is the MS-101. You just need a sawtooth and some noise and you will get a fat sound already. In this patch, we also use the sub-oscillator and some modulation noise for the filter and some glide to get the sound moving. To get the piano sound as intimate as possible, we damped the strings with the old scarf. Uh, for recordings, we used the KM184 from Neumann. They are the perfect fit for our piano and make the sound so unique. We know our piano well and we know which frequencies we need to lower. Most important for self-recorded instruments is a low-cut filter. We already did it in our piano and field recordings for you in the sample pack. 
and it's also really important to catch the transients of the piano, so we use the Ableton glue compressor to catch the peaks. The Valhalla Vintage Verb is our go-to reverb to just add some space, some whiteness to the sound. I'm working on the piano sound, Maris is still in the jam and looking for the perfect bass patch. Try to go as soon as possible in the arrangement view so we can build the track from loops and start thinking about structure very early in the process. A little fun fact, Maris is working on the keyboard from the laptop and I have my own keyboard because he's right-handed and I'm left-handed so we can easily work together with just one mouse. Because we work a lot with the live piano and live recordings, it is sometimes a bit difficult to match the timing with our synthesizers. We have of course added the MIDI files to our sample pack, so you have everything in time directly. If you are wondering what is Jonas doing in the background, he is just doing a little pitch correction to our analog synthesizer, because sometimes it's a bit out of tune. We are huge fans of the Space Echo, it has a unique character and adds so much tape saturation to our sound. We just throw all our recordings in it and also we have recreated the tape sound in Ableton to have it with us on the road. It's also in the pack so you can play around with it as well. Usually we record several runs and tweak the sound on the space echo. To get a very special and wide sound, we pan the recordings hard left and right. For us the space echo is like a music instrument, we really love the analog sound of it and we also add some extra noise with erosion and the drum bass. The drum bass is not just for drums, it adds so much character to any other sound, so try it.
for a perfect layer we duplicate the track and just take the sound one octave higher and yes you can hear the magic is happening right now use our own field recordings to create a unique texture on the clip. Therefore we have a lot of field recordings also in this pack that we recorded over the last years. place the different sounds in the stereo field and for some variation we just mute some MIDI notes. Sometimes we layer it with a clapper snare to fatten it up. It is always difficult to place field recordings in the mix, therefore it's important to crush everything together. For this we use the transient master, that every sample has the same tail and the clap group comes more together. To control the sharp transients we use a fast glue compressor to catch the peaks. Piano, Jonas is playing the chords again on our Prophet 6. The Prophet 6 synthesizer is just really amazing. You can place every oscillator, every voice in the stereo field and you get a pad sound really quick that fits really good into the mix. goes to the MOOC and this turns into a little jam. The different melodies turn into a little rhythmic pattern and I think at this moment this is a little game changer for the song because it adds so much movement and this is exactly what we need. Half of the time is over now, the drums are ready to go, we have lovely piano chords and also added a really nice bass to the sound. Now it's time to record the Moog synthesizer 
and define the sound even more. So basically we wanted to collect our sounds for years already. We're recording our samples for a very long time now. As the opportunity came from PML to make a sample pack, it was really great for us to be forced in this direction and yeah, to collect everything. This sample pack you get our complete workflow from our drum samples, our field recordings, our Ableton instruments, especially a two-knob series where you can get our Ableton presets for overdrive, texture, structure and everything. You can just yeah, be creative, use our piano loops and do your own stuff in minutes. Yeah, we were in a church and sampled a pipe organ. You have the perfect techno organ to, uh, <laughs> to create atmospheres like we always do. Yeah, we have a lot of harmony loops with our piano, the perfect Polaroid sound. The movement of our MOOC recording is super nice already. Here we add an auto pen to get the movement in the stereo field as well. Now we start to build our intro by muting some elements. It's always exciting to see what catches the listener uh, from the beginning already and which element is better for a build up later. We realize in the arrangement process that something is missing. We try to add the clap again or use some volume automation to get the intro more interesting. But it's not really working, so now we get the idea to send the piano chords through our modular system and you will hear it just sounds magical. Here we are working with the super version of Clouds by Mutable Instruments. It is focused on a real-time granularization of incoming audio signals and their transformation into lovely textures. To get distinctive sounds, we send nearly everything through it. It doesn't matter if percussive sounds or pet sounds, the results are always unbelievable. We just record everything and later we pick the best parts. The main idea is to layer the recording of the modular system with the piano chords and to find the right pad sound. Now we have an interesting pad sound, but it's yeah a way too massive for the vibe of the song. To get it more moving, we decide to automate the volume and therefore we add a trigger lane with a hired loop from our pack.
With an envelope follower, we can easily turn a pad into a rhythmic pattern and it's a really musical way to create your own unique sound. And that is what we are doing in our tracks all the time. For our sample pack, we combined our favorite presets into a tune-up effect wax series. Textures is one of the effect wax. It adds a lot of different noise and pitch modulation. And like this, it creates the typical Polaroid vibe. We are working on the arrangement again. Because of the short time, we have arranged everything here very rough. Um, just adding some side chain, leaving out a kick right before the next part, stuff like this. Um, structuring the heads and percussions. We just add an auto filter to low cut the frequencies we don't need for the pad. And we add another auto filter to get some movement into the sound and to cut the high frequencies at the beginning to get more attention to the other sounds. And yes, get everything evolving. For the next build up, we love parts where everything can breathe again. In this case, the piano is the perfect element to stay focused. So we start muting everything around it and just leave the piano. We low pass the piano sound right before the bridge, just to announce the sound to the audience. We also delete some kick drums that everyone knows, okay, now a new part is coming. And again we use one of our two knob effect racks, it's called Structure and it helps to get the sound more moving. And we are discovering the profit again. The prophet adds so much life to the sound and has a function as a riser to get into the bridge part. As the next part, we decided to make a big breakdown. So we returned to our modular element. 
and start building everything around it. For the build up, we want a new element to create more tension. Out of a piano recording, we built our own piano arpeggiator instrument. And yes, we have the advantage to have four hands in our sessions, so I can find the perfect melody or chords and Maurice can tweak the sound simultaneously and we can react to each other directly. It's always a pleasure to play with our piano plug. You can use the macro to add some distortion to the sound or play with the decay or attack. Yes, and this adds a lot of life to the sound. Now it's time to automate everything to get a really good build up. Just before the end we realized that we need more cowbell on the song so we added our famous cowbell riser to the song and yes that's it so the time's over let's enjoy the track One cool thing with working with analog gear is that you can perform the whole time in the creative process so we get a direct feeling of how the song could work in our live set.
30 minutes were super short, but it was super fun. <laughs> Yes. Normally we would start a queuing now and adding reverb maybe. Adding and some new elements. I think we will just uh, do another 30 minute session right now and you will find the whole session in our sample pack and the link for the sample pack you will find it just under this video in the description. So have a look, uh, we had a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, we hope you learned something here and yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you fun. for having us. <laughs>